Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Alrighty, I see you guys keep uh, tagging me in this or uh, bringing this to my attention. So you guys got to be very careful about these types of things. So Miss Karen, I guess, is uh, selling these historic asset bonds. Over 150 available boxes of German 1924 bonds, blue Zimbabwe bonds, are up for the dearest sell? <laughs> Send me a message now. What am I sending you a message for? I sent her a message and she never responded. I said, uh, what are these and what do you think they are and how much do they cost? Never heard back from her. But yeah, they're really fancy. If uh, any of you guys looked into this and I'm curious to see what it is they're trying to charge you. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. So you can actually find these online. These uh, Zimbabwe, they say bonds. These are limited edition, as you can see, one of 10,000. Inventory list, which is interesting. This is what they look like. This is what the security features on them, really nice. Okay, so what are these? They're just collectibles. That's all they are. If people are out there telling you that you can exchange these later down the line for a whole lot of money, they're lying to you. All these are, are collectibles. AliExpress has them for $8.20 each. They're designed very well. They are attractive. But what you have to be careful of is people are actually out there trying to pass these off as something that you can exchange for a higher value. Here's one right here that's unopened. See the security features? Now this has 400 pieces in there for $810. So here is the description. These notes are not issued by Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. So be careful. Zimbabwe did not issue these. Not solid gold, decorative ornament. See what it says in the description? This is a decorative ornament. A collectible item, no value. We have many designs, Zimbabwe banknotes and Yellow Dragon banknotes, and you're welcome to contact them. Down here, it says features, is durable and waterproof. This is a great talking point and certainly a very unique gift, but a decorative ornament only. So like I said, be careful because people are sending me links to different people who are trying to sell these, pass them off for something that they are not. So as you can see, this Miss Karen is not giving you all the information. I'm wondering if any of you ever reached out to her and asked her questions, what these are and what it is that she told you. So anyways, you can buy uh, 400 of them for like 810 bucks or you could buy one for $8. Zimbabwe is on their way to de-dollarize. They say that, but then they always end up using the dollars anyways. And it doesn't help that the people that are actually using the dollars are the government officials. But, they have currently joined the BRIC nations. So the government says it has developed a de-dollarization roadmap that entitles measures to promote the wider use of country's new currency, the ZIG. This comes after a Reserve Bank governor introduced a new legal tender on April 5th, 2024 to replace the Zimbabwe dollar. He said the ZIG has now accounted for 30% of transactions in the country from roughly 20% in April. He said in a few months since its introduction, Zimbabwe's new unit of account has managed to tame exchange rate volatility and anchor low inflation, which is what you want in your currency. A growing number of retailers and manufacturers are now accepting the domestic currency for payments while pricing their products using the official exchange rate. While the U.S. dollar has been instrumental in managing inflation, its use is not sustainable given limitations associated with the availability to influence desired levels of growth. Authorities can influence economic growth using various monetary instruments, including interest rates and money supply. 
Let me go ahead and jump over to this other article since it's very similar. The finance and investment promotion minister, Professor Incube, is set to present the de-dollarization roadmap meant to enhance the widespread use of the ZIG currency as a legal tender for use in the economy. This follows the Second Republic's introduction of Zimbabwe's gold ZIG currency. Earlier this year, making a significant milestone in the country's journey towards economic development and ultimately stability. Addressing thousands of people gathered for the commencing of the fruit juice and water processing plant recently, the president said he was closely monitoring the local currency's performance. He said once the ZIG is stable and in full circulation in all corners of the country, he said he would announce the country's full de-dollarization. So as you can see here, they think this process is going to take two years. So now that the ZIG is being used, that means the other currencies are no longer any good. So obviously I've spoken about re-denominations several times. When a country changes the way its currency looks, it's called a re-denomination. Whether they take off zeros, delete zeros, lop off the zeros, whatever the hell you want to call it. Zimbabwe recently changed to the ZIG. That means the ZWL and the Zim dollars are no longer any good. You can't use them. They're obsolete. You have to have the new ZIG dollar. You can see right here, people with Zimbabwe dollar notes and coins may swap them for ZIG notes and coins using the market determined interbank rate of the day. This means you have until April 26th of 2024 to convert your Zim dollars to ZIGs. Over in Zimbabwe, even before the end of April came, stores and uh, companies were already rejecting the old banknotes because they know they'll no longer be any good. I know people keep telling you, oh, they're bonds, therefore they have to honor them, which is a lie. Those bills are obsolete. You can see here, this person is giving you an example. A 37-year-old tried to pay his full amount with the ZWL notes, the Zimbabwe dollar, and the person would not give him change they said either buy more things or lose your balance. You see right here, Zimbabwe's outgoing currency, which locals call the bond notes, but the till operator refused to accept it, telling them to buy something else or forfeit the balance. The scenario is one of the scenarios that people in Zimbabwe face daily. Since the country launched its new currency, the ZIG, two weeks ago, if you skip down here, you can see on April the 5th, Zimbabwe Central Bank announced a new gold-backed currency, immediately implementing changes on digital platforms with local banks converting the Zim dollars to the new Zig dollars. So if you have your money in your bank account, they do the conversion for you right away. When you bring in your old notes, they'll do the conversion for you. However, the new bank notes will become available only at the end of the month after the central bank's governor put in place a grace period to enable the transition. In the meantime, the central bank made assurances that the bond notes would still be in use until the end of the month when they officially launched the ZIG dollars. Despite this, many businesses like this shop in Glenview have already ceased trading in the ZIM dollars significantly impacting millions who depend on the cash for their daily needs, including people working in the informal economy. So here we go. The old notes not accepted. The ZIG is set to replace both existing ZWL bond notes and ZIM dollars, which were launched in 2016 and 19. So in this scenario for Zimbabwe, they are only given their people 28 days. That's why I find it shocking that the people in Iraq are being told they're going to be able to run their currency side by side for 10 years. <laughs> that seems way too long. So they can exist side by side briefly though. Look at bond notes are still legal tender for transaction at least until April the 30th. What does that mean? Well, once April 30th takes place, the bond notes or the Zim dollars are no longer any good. The legal tender is the Zig dollar. So yeah, I know people keep trying to tell you that your Zim dollars, you're going to be able to exchange them for millions and millions of dollars. That's not the case. These are only collectibles now. They are obsolete. The new legal tender for Zimbabwe is the Zig dollars. All right, because you guys keep asking me those questions over and over. So be careful with these fancy looking pictures. Don't let people try to convince you 
that you can redeem these or anything else like that later down the line. These are only decorative items and collectibles, okay? Anyways, that's it for now. I hope that helps you out. I'll get at you later. I'm out.